Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. We're having a fantastic week. Today we are doing another Haunting for Halloween Decor episode. This will be episode two. So I just got out of a doctor's appointment and I am in a different part of Oregon than I would normally be. So I figured while I'm over here, I might as well check out their Bath and Body Works to see if it's anything different than what I showed you guys last time. Do check out their TJ Maxx and their Ross to see if maybe if either one of those stores actually has Halloween out yet. So once we're done heading up those stores in this area, on my way back home, I actually come across the Home Goods and Michaels we went to last time. So I figured why not stop there and see if they actually have Halloween stuff this time. Cause you know, last time they did not. Where is it? Not a lick of fall in sight at Home Goods. They know Halloween whatsoever at Michaels. So let's hope the Halloween gods that there is something there this time. Then there's also a Cracker Barrel, which I did not realize would be the happening place to buy Halloween items. We'd go in there and see if there's anything left because I've heard of people just buying everything in the store to resell online, which is just redonkulous. People who do that, stop it. Stop it. Get some help. But actually, unlike last time, because I said last time that I would step up my Halloween wearing outfit game, and I did. I came and I came with vengeance, will I possibly say, with my Halloween outfit today. I have orange eyeshadow on, which you know, I just like slapped this bad boy on at 7.30 in the morning before I came over here for my doctor appointment, but uh, it's something. And then I have like a grayish purplish lipstick to go with it. And then we go to my outfit and look at this. How adorable is this little uh, corduroy dress? So it's, I guess I could not wear an undershirt with it, but I feel kind of weird. So I wore like this kind of meshy flowy one to go underneath and then I have this corduroy dress. If I can find a mirror somewhere I will show you the full outfit that way you can actually see the whole thing in its entirety versus just this cute little spiderweb part up here but this dress is from Voodoo Vixen and I got it last year off of Unique Vintage which I need to show you guys Unique Vintage they are just coming out with all their Halloween items already. <laughs> I think it done rambling. Let's go ahead and go to our first stop, which will be the Bath and Body Works over on this side of town. I've not been there. I really, 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 really want the Dracula hand candle holder. Um, if I don't find it, I'll pop a picture here so that way you can see what it looks like. And I'm hoping if they don't have it out, if I nicely ask if they have it in the back, they'll let me have it. I don't know. I feel like I'm committing a crime doing that. I feel bad, but they're normally very nice in Bath and Body Works, so hopefully they won't get upset by me asking that. I don't know. I, of course, have no anxiety. Let's go ahead and drive over there, and I'll see you guys when we have made it. I made it without getting lost. Go me. Pat on the back. I did it. So Bath and Body Works just opened. It is a ripe 10.07 in the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and see what Halloween stuff they have. Let's go, you guys. Scared Halloween, you guys. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna turn on my car because it's getting actually pretty hot in here, so enjoy the rumble of my car. <laughs> but before I dive into the chaos that was Bath and Body Works, guess what we saw on our way inside the mall? Spirit Halloween. <sighs> I think that was just a sign for me that today was going to be a good day. So yes, Bath and Body Works was chaotic. So as soon as I walked in the store, the girl, you know, saw my outfit, saw I was all about the Halloween spooky vibes, and she told me to run back to the cash register because there was already people there trying to snatch up all those Halloween items. I mean, luckily, uh, there was only one couple there. I don't know what all they bought. I think they bought quite a bit of stuff, but... 
it was, I felt stressed out. I did not like it. Uh, I think that this year is gonna be another repeat of last year where everything just flies off the shelves immediately because people are just hyping it up all over Instagram and everything. So, I mean, I guess I am part of that party, but my goodness gracious, uh, I was stressed out. So we didn't see all the, the uh, we didn't see any of the wallflowers there. They didn't even have the Chihuahua vampire guy. They had a couple repeat offenders that I saw before at the other Bath and Body Works, such as the Halloween candles, the Halloween pocket back holders, some hand sanitizer scents that were Halloween themed, and they had um, the trick or treat bags, whatever you want to call those things. But the thing that was the most awesome to see in person was they had a variety of their new candle holders. Unfortunately, they did not have the Dracula vampire hand, which I hope I can find today. I have no idea. They did write down my number um, in case I do get the shipment in today. I don't know if I'll be around to actually pick it up, but it was very nice that they asked for my phone number so they could call me when it comes in. I don't have it. the spider web one with like the jewels all over it so along with the spider web candle holder and then the one that looks kind of like a cemetery gate they had their are we calling them globe style pedestal ones they had a couple of those and they were amazing we saw again the skull luminary but along with that skull luminary candle holder we saw the cute little monster fondue guy. I don't know what we're gonna call it. I don't know what its official name is, but I'm calling it Monster Green Fondue Guy. That one was so cool. It is very high quality. I really, really, really thought about getting it. However, I did not. I really, really liked it, but I didn't love it. And I felt a little wrong buying it if I didn't love it. I feel like someone who just would absolutely love and adore that little, little luminary candle holder guy. I'd rather them have it than me. That one was $59. It is worth it. I wouldn't wait until you get a coupon. If you like something at Bath and Body Works, just go ahead and buy it because you really can't predict whether or not it'll be there still by the time you get a coupon. Then they also had the Gravestone Globe one that's kind of similar to the Spiderweb one last year. This one just happens to be taller. It's like 10 inches tall or something. It is a crazy pedestal height. This one was $69.95, so pretty expensive, but it is very well made. The glow part does have a lumin luminary uh, twirly feature like the one last year with the bats where the bats would swirl, swirl around in the spiderweb globe. And fortunately, they did not have any batteries in that globe, so I couldn't see what it looked like when it was actually on. But I did see this one had ghosts inside it, so I'm guessing just the ghosts sw swirl around the gravestone and the little spooky tree. I believe that's everything I saw at Bath and Body Works that was new for my eyes to look at. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to Ross and TJ Maxx. Hopefully they're not too far away from here. And then we'll head down to the other Home Goods and Michaels we visited last time, as well as Cracker Barrel. So let's go ahead and head out. Before I go though, you guys did mention, or at least a good plenty of you mentioned that you did want to see a haul at the end of this video as well as a just collective haul at the end of the Halloween season. So I'll make sure to do that today with anything I've purchased. I did buy one thing. So I'll make sure to show you that today. And then I'll show you everything I purchased the last time I was in Bath and Body Works since I didn't show you guys in the last video. So I'll make sure to combine all that stuff together today. And then if I find anything else at Home Goods, Ross, TJ Maxx, etc., I'll make sure to show you guys that as well. Thank you for the feedback. I really appreciate it. It's nice knowing what you guys like to see and not just whatever I feel like doing in a video. <laughs> so let's go ahead and head to our next destination, which is Ross and TJ Maxx, which I believe are pretty close to each other based off of Google Maps. Okay, so I made it TJ Maxx, not seeing where Ross is, so we'll see how accessible it is. And if it's not really, then I might just abandon ship and not go to Ross, because this area of Oregon is confusing. Confusion central here on this face. Let's go ahead and go into TJ Maxx. It's around 1048 right now, so we'll see what we can find here. <gasps> okay. 
Okay, so there wasn't a whole lot in TJ Maxx, but they had at least one tiny end cap with Halloween stuff. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. I didn't get anything from TJ Maxx, spoiler alert, but I just witnessing Halloween, at least being there, made me so happy. So on the end cap, there was a lot of those like metal pumpkins that you could use for probably a variety of things. You could put candy in it if you wanted to, as long as they're big enough pieces. Um, you could maybe somehow use them as planters. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't really figure out what I would have used them for, so I passed up on them. But they had all kinds of sizes. They had more coppery ones. They had black ones that were gold on the inside. All shape sizes and colors and then the only other couple of things i saw were at the very top of the end cap they had a trio of three witches which were very cute they were carved out of wood they also had the witch hat that i believe we all saw last year they had one alone and one on top of books and then they had that little ghost holding the little boo banner that was also something we saw last year and if I'm forgetting anything else, I'll pop it up here. Oh, there was a Nightmare Before Christmas mug that had like a little glittery handle. That was the only cup I saw. I went all down all through the aisles and that's all there was. There was no pillows, no blankets, only that one tiny, tiny end cap. But that's a good sign. That means that they're getting prepared to put out Halloween stuff. There was still a ton of patio furniture where I am and patio decor so it definitely will be a little bit until they can clear all those aisles but there's progress compared to last time so i am just so so happy i'm gonna look up how far away ross is so either i'll meet you at ross or i'll meet you at home goods oh i found it i found it i made it to ross and michael's and do both of those and see what they have in store for us a uh, tip to rachel Figure out where you're driving. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, okay, let's go inside. Over there is Ross. We'll talk about Ross and Michaels real fast because there's really not a whole lot to say. Um, we'll start with Michaels. Michaels did start at least putting out their wreath items, at least at this particular Michaels. However, it was very, very sparse. I saw three wreath hangers, um, and then there were just some stuff to put on the wreaths but I didn't actually see any of the wreaths like the spiderweb wreath that I've seen on Jake Lieber's channel. Yeah it was pretty slim pickings but at least there was progress being made at this Michaels. I did like some of the stuff they had to decorate the wreath with. I liked the little ghost guy and the wooden plaque that had the bats behind the moon. Then moving to Ross there was nothing. I walked through the aisles didn't see anything fall or Halloween. The aisles looked pretty empty, but maybe this particular Ross always has aisles that look kind of empty. Not really sure. But I did buy some lovely caramel drizzle sauce to put on ice cream or in coffee or something. I feel like that would be pretty good. So this is what I bought there. Not Halloween, but kinda, because it's caramel and caramel apples, caramel drinks for Halloween, fall time. Yeah, that's all I got, Ross. That's all I had to say about Ross. Let's go ahead and move on to the home goods down in a different part of where I live, where we went last time. Over here. So it looks like we have Cracker Barrel and Home Goods to go visit, and possibly Michael's if I feel like going in there as well. So let's go ahead and head inside and see what good Halloween stuff we can possibly find. Okay, so we made it into. Home Goods as well as Cracker Barrel. So we'll start with Home Goods. They had so much more Halloween stuff than I was expecting. I was expecting maybe a oh, tiny, tiny, tiny little section. So the first section I saw was what I thought was just going to be it. In that little section, there's this really cute pumpkin that lights up. That was $14.99. Then along with that more carved style pumpkin. They had a lot of really, really pretty glass pumpkins that remind me of Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty and all that stuff. They were very, very pretty. They're just not quite my taste, but they were very beautiful. They had all kinds of shapes and sizes of gourds and pumpkins. Then they had around the corner, I believe it was three different end caps. 
full of Halloween stuff, which I was not expecting whatsoever. So on the first end cap, there were just some more of those pumpkins. Found another one of those carved ones, same style, and they had one that was a little bit bigger. And they had, of course, some more of those glass pumpkins. Very, very pretty. So the next end cap had even better stuff. They had this adorable Mickey Mouse shaped pumpkin jar. So it had like a, a lid and everything and you could, I don't know, put sugar in it, flour in it. Along with that, I am spacing a lot of the stuff that was also on the end cap because I was just so excited that there was Halloween stuff that my mind kind of just panicked. And so I feel like I was in a daze of Halloween and I can't quite remember everything that was there. And the next end cap, there was this like really goofy looking um, skeleton that had a surfboard and a bathing suit. It was funny. Not quite my style, but it was, I thought it was pretty funny. Oh, backtracking a little bit. So in that first end cap where there was other, like some more pumpkins of the glass ones and wood ones, there were these goblets, these huge skull goblets that were like $60. I feel like you could do something cool with them. My brain could not think of what you could do with them. Then going back to the other end cap where we saw the surfer skeletons, they had a lower shelf full of plateware and they were apothecary themed or witchy, kind of Harry Potter potions class style. They had two different ones of the small plates and then one style of the larger dinner size plate. Then down the tablecloth aisle, I only saw one tablecloth that was Halloween. It was very cute. It was black with ghosts and pumpkins and cats. That's all I saw down there. I didn't see any dish cloths, no aprons, nothing of the sort there. And then down the throw pillow and throw blanket aisle, I only saw one thing and it was these ghost dogs. So that's the only throw blanket I saw. I didn't see any pillows, not even a fall pillow. So you guys out there who are already getting your really cool Halloween throw blankets and throw pillows, I am jelly. Definitely don't have that here. I believe that's everything that I saw at Home Goods. I didn't see any mugs or anything like that. So moving on to Cracker Barrel. They had their little Halloween section. Um, I feel like it's the same everywhere, is it? I'll show you what I found there. Um, they had their like animatronic stuff, the light up haunted house. They had this mausoleum thing, which I thought was cool and thought about getting, but then the more I looked at it and the fact that it occupied, it made me think of a bathroom. So I did not get that. They had soaps and mugs and t-shirts. I had a hard time getting shots of everything because there was this lady there like hovering over it. I don't know what she's looking for because it wasn't like she was buying everything. I think she was looking for something specific and didn't think to move when someone was standing by her. So I feel awkward and didn't really know what to do. So that was our adventure out here to Cracker Barrel as well as Home Goods. I did run to Michael's really fast. No change there. So I don't have any footage of that. So I think I'm going to head home. If I stop anywhere else, I will let you guys know. Uh, I may run to the TJ Maxx that's located over on this side of town. Maybe not since we already went into a TJ Maxx today, but we'll see. And then I might stop by the Bath and Body Works that's closest to my house, which is the one I went to earlier today, just to see if they have anything else there. I'm not 100% sure though, it's already 1 o'clock and it's getting pretty late in the day for me considering I have to go to work in a few hours and stay up all night. So, you know, fun times for my body's sleep pattern. Good job, Rachel. Very good. If I don't, go anywhere else. I'll catch up with you guys at home so I can show you what I ended up purchasing today on our mini adventures how Halloween decor haunting. Well hello we have made it home. I didn't end up stopping by anywhere else so here we are ready to do the haul portion of this video. So we'll start with Bath and Body Works then we'll move to Home Goods because those are the only two stores I have bought stuff from so far in our haunting for Halloween decor journey. Hi Edgar Bear what are you doing? So I'm gonna try and make this quick because I am very hungry. First thing is this candy corn pocket back holder that I got from Bath & Body Works. Then I also got the... Why is that so satisfying? The vampire blood to go in it. Very cute. This is only $3.95. This is the other pocket back holder that I got. This one is the one with the spider webs on it. Then along with the spider web pocket back portion, it has a light up jack-o-lantern. 
it's on a self timer so it'll just automatically go off after a couple of seconds this pocket back was $12.95 for the price kind of expensive but it is cute so whenever i paid for it <laughs> then i did end up getting the bat soap dispenser holder i'm definitely not going to use it to hold the soap the bath and body Works soap but i do think i want to use it to hold makeup brushes or something like that i think it would be really cute for something other than the soap dispenser holder so that's kind of my plan for this and this was $18.95. Then I did get the little cat that hangs on the candle so let me go ahead and grab the candle that I bought so I can show you what it looks like. It's so cute. This was $8.95. So as you can see I got the pumpkin carving candle. This is the one I picked out. Already have used it. it smells so good. But here is the little black cat hanging off of it. So cute. I, I really like how they're just adding these fun little elements to add onto their candles. Then I did end up getting this Vampire Blood body lotion. So those are all the items I bought the other day when I went to Bath & Body Works. So let me show you what I bought today from Bath & Body Works and then what I ended up buying from Home Goods. Oh, oh. So I ended up buying this pedestal today. It is just so cool. I couldn't pass it up. I love the tombstones in here. I love the little spooky tree. And um, I can't wait to see what this looks like lit up. So. I'll insert a clip here of what it looks like after I've inserted batteries and we can see what it looks like turned on. Then you can see all of the elements up close in that little clip. I'm excited to at least have this, but I do hope at some point I'll run across the Vampire Dracula hand and hopefully maybe I'll find it online. Then again, this was $69.95. So moving on to what I got from Home Goods, I got this version of one of the side plates. And this was only $3.99. Very good deal. These are very nice plates. Then I did end up getting the other style as well. So that way I have both of them here. And I like how they look similar but are slightly different. So I just got one of each. Again, this one was $3.99. Then the very last thing I have to show you guys is I ended up getting two of these dinner plates. They're exactly the same. So I'll just show you this one here. I love how this plate looks. I love how it's black and white and I really like the little details like the little mice running on the shelf here and this was only $4.99. Again, microwave and dishwasher safe. Hi, sir. So those are all the items I got while haunting for Halloween decor this week as well as last time I saw you guys. Cannot wait to see what else is out there. I've already seen so many cool things on Instagram and I just hope that I can snag some stuff without being overly stressed out about the hype about Halloween. I feel like it's gonna be another year where everyone is just really, really excited about Halloween stuff. And while I also love that other people are loving Halloween, it does make for a kind of stressful adventure. How are you doing over there? Is that comfortable? You doing good? Please let me know how Halloween decor hunting is going in your area. I would love to hear. And also, forgot to mention last time, or I think I edited it out on accident. If you have not followed Midge Munster and Jade the Libra, those two ghouls are your YouTubers to catch up on. They are very good at keeping up to date with the current Halloween items out in the world. And they'll definitely be updating more than me. Obviously, please don't go away. I would love to still have you here watching my videos, but if you want more weekly updates on how Halloween decor hunting is going, they have been on top of it. So that's all I have today here on this Hunting for Halloween Decor Episode 2 video. I will see you guys here probably in another two weeks and we'll see what else we can find. So thank you again so much for watching and I hope you guys are having an awesome, good spooky week and I will see you in my next video. Bye!